Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here. And today, we are having a special video, as you can tell. This is an outdoor shooting video. So here with me today, I have my Browning Buckmark uh, Micro Bull 22. Excuse some of the audio. Ugh. With my Freedom Armory slash Tyon Titanium 45 suppressor. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a shooting video and you guys can kind of hear how it sounds. Pretty quiet, um, did have subsonic 22s, but uh, forgot to bring them. So these are just supersonic uh, 22 Thunderbolts. You can see there that uh, pretty darn accurate, especially with that blacked out rear and the fiber optic front. Definitely pretty quiet. I'm sure YouTube is compressing the audio, but I do not have ears on right now. So it's uh, definitely not obtrusive. Now, again, one thing I did say is the reason why I like uh, this 45 cam is I can use it for my 22. I do have a dedicated 22 cam, but um, just wanted to show that you can use a 22 can on a 45 or a 45 can on a 22. Don't use it the other way around. You're going to have a bad day. Okay. <laughs> um, and definitely sound safe. And these are uh, coming out. You can hear a bit of a supersonic track just because these are high velocity ones. Uh, just because I want to see the worst of the worst. So it can only get better from here, basically. But yeah, I'll yeah, try to get a little in the camera focus for you guys. Huh. Will I be able to do this? Let's try it, guys. Here we go. So you can see what I'm saying. Oh, this is going to be fun. If I miss this because of you guys. I'm trying to get it fully extended out there. Okay. Not sure if you uh, guys got any kind of nauseousness. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's best best doing that, guys. Of course, this is uh, just a new thing trying here. I know this has been requested for the channel, so I'm trying to give you guys a bit of a shooting uh, shooting review, shooting impression. This Browning Buckmark Micro Bull and pretty much the Buckmarks in general are just fantastic, especially with that um, uh, non reciprocating. Uh, uh, it has a reciprocating slide, but the barrel, the fact that it doesn't move, so you, you don't need this, a, uh, the booster with it. Uh, but you can use it with the booster. I actually have it with the booster, so you see that it doesn't really affect anything. Uh, it's been running like a champ. I've, at the range here today, I've probably ran close to, give or take, shoot, I'll probably say about 200 rounds through it. And running like a champ. Trigger is absolutely fantastic. I have noticed a few times, I'm not sure if this is just a break-in period, but the uh, but the trigger, it doesn't go dead, but you hear like a click, like it sounds like a reset, but it actually didn't, so. Yeah, so uh, slide does release nice and easy. And here, there, we're gonna try this one more time. Try to get this in the viewfinder for you guys. See, I'm trying to line up that fiber optic front. Try to get a little bit farther back. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> Actually, here, maybe a little bit of side profile.
10 rounds goes quick. <laughs> so you see there we're at a uh, you know, standard seven yards and it's definitely doing um doing plenty fine. Now uh, with this can here, like I said, uh, here, I don't know if I get the full shot. Well, with the can, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really attain too much heat um, just from use. The uh, uh, 22 round obviously doesn't generate that much heat to be able to get it that hot. So it's one thing to consider. I mean, it definitely is warm to the touch. And uh, yeah, but not something that's too uh, too dangerous to grab and twist off and put on something else. Now, if you put this on your 45, make sure you don't touch it. <laughs> Try to think you can go to your 22. Last couple of rounds here. I'm gonna bring the microphone back to my ear so you can actually hear what it sounds like pretty much at ear level. So, one thing you wanna note is that uh, with any handgun, uh, you're gonna get that first round pop, and a lot of the sound that you're hearing is that supersonic crack, so subsonic. Um, won't have that next time when I do another one of these videos. I'll make sure I get the subsonic ammunition. But you can hear that first round how it's significantly significantly louder. And you hear how it just clicked. I'm not sure if you did. So it did reset, but then it kind of soft clicked. Now I have to fully go out and let it reset. And that's about it. So not a not too bad a group if I do say so myself. Definitely punching that center hole. <laughs> um, so guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the review here. If you did, please consider uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing. For those of you guys that have been requesting this, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's something that could be uh, better improved. Again, this is just the first time video of doing something like this. And uh, just wanted to uh, try to change things up again. So hope everyone's having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.